Should you invest in a POS system for your grocery store? In this video, I will explain why investing in a good POS system can be a life changer for your brick and mortar business. IT Retail offers a cloud-based POS system that is ready to help you grow your business. But more on that later. Hey millionaires, welcome back to the channel. I owe an apology to my subscribers. I know it's been two months since my last upload. I hate excuses, but I have been extremely busy with my family and with my businesses. For those that are new to the channel, my name is Sergio Briones and I own a real estate seller financing business, a rental portfolio, a grocery store with a meat market, and we are about to open a second brick and mortar business. I'll be sharing the details soon. I am also excited to announce that we closed on our 24th property last week. We have been steadily growing our rental portfolio, but I will cover this subject on another video. In this video, however, I will share a few of the many reasons why investing your hard earned money into a POS system is necessary for your business. Now any POS system will be better than nothing, but why not go with the best? This is the reason why I have partnered with IT Retail. They have more than two decades serving the grocery store and meat market industry. From your small mom and pop corner stores to your big supermarkets. They understand our needs as business owners and just make our lives easier. With their cloud-based POS system, you can manage your inventory, staff, customers, and can easily view your sales from any part of the world at any given time. For an absentee owner, this last function is critical. IT Retail is innovative, modern looking, and operates very efficiently. But the best part is as far as pricing goes, they are right in the middle, making it a very affordable addition or even upgrade to your current POS system. They do offer everything you need as a business owner and a bit more. I have linked their website down below. Be sure to check them out. Before we begin, let's start with the definition of a POS system. According to Investopedia, a point of sale system or POS for short, is a device or software that processes transactions for customers in a retail or online store. So now that we know what the acronym POS stands for, I would like to explain why these systems are the backbone to all retail stores. The first reason why your business needs a POS system is to help you keep track of your daily sales. You see them everywhere you go. Gas stations, Walmarts, supermarkets, clothing boutiques, auto parts stores, etc. POS systems not only helps you charge customers, but it also helps you keep track of your inventory. You can input thousands of items into the system with the respective cost and pricing and it will automatically calculate your profit margin. Every time a vendor replenishes your inventory, you simply update your inventory count in the system by adding the number of items that were delivered. Then when you sell an item, it will automatically deduct from your inventory so that your POS system matches what you physically have on hand. This feature will help you know at any given time how much inventory you have on hand and how much it is worth. You can print a report on what was sold this week and set parameters to let you know when a certain item is low on stock. Trying to do all this by hand will be a nightmare when you carry as many items as you typically do in a grocery store. Imagine having to hand count every single piece of bubble gum, candy, chocolate bar, and can of beer in your store. At the end of your shift, you simply print your Z report and you get the exact amount of how much you sold, how much tax you collected, what was credit cards, debit cards, food stamps, etc. If you started your day with $200 in your till, it will tell you how much you need to have at the end of the day. This will allow you to know if the till was short or over. None are good. If you have money left over, it means your cashier is not giving the correct change to your customers, is not reporting sales into the system, or is simply making some other mistake. Your till should always balance. I see many small business owners without a POS system charging customers with a simple calculator. They might be doing this to save money on the POS purchase or might not want paper trail to report less sales at the end of the year. You'll be amazed by how many business owners stunt the growth of their business to try to pay less income and sales taxes. These same business owners then complain when they try to sell their business or when they go to the bank to ask for a loan. Since on paper, their business is worthless. Like I've mentioned in the past, the more taxes you pay, the more successful you are. Don't be scared. Another downside of using a calculator to run your business is that it creates a huge margin for error. 
Imagine having to manually enter all the prices by memory while you charge a customer. And even if you mark your inventory with a price gun, you are giving your employees the opportunity to punch in the incorrect amounts on the calculator by mistake or even worse, by choice. On the same note, grocery store owners often leak money by mistakenly undercharging their customers when having to manually enter the total sales amount into the card reader. With a good POS system, everything is integrated. You simply scan your items, hit total on the screen, and the tax is automatically calculated. Now remember, not everything is taxable, but your POS system does all the calculations in the blink of an eye. If your customer is paying with a credit card, you simply press credit cards, and your customer can either tap or insert their credit card. No need to manually punch in any numbers. Another reason why you need a good POS system is to be able to know exactly how much profit you are netting from your grocery store. The problem when you run your business with a simple calculator is that you really don't know how much of your total sales were profits and how much you need to put aside to replace the item that you sold. You may sell a chocolate bar at 50% profit margin, but only make 28% profit margin on a 12 pack of beer. It will be very difficult and almost impossible to try to do all the math in your head when you have lines of customers paying at your register. Having the exact profit per week will help you determine how much you can pay your staff, if you can hire additional help, buy more equipment, expand your business, or the best one of the list, if you can give yourself a raise. Another reason why you should invest in a good POS system is because it will help you minimize theft, shrinkage, and spoilage. By having your inventory updated, it will be very easy for you to find out if you have missing inventory. You can schedule your inventory count once a month. You can simply print a report from your POS system and start an investigation if your system states that you should have 60 18 packs and you only have 40. I'm not saying you will have zero loss of inventory, but theft or simple mistakes will be easier to detect and it will be a lot more controlled. If your employees know that you have the exact count of your inventory, they will think twice before stealing. A good tip I recommend for absentee owners is to post the following sign if they are trying to minimize cashier theft. If you do not get a receipt, your order is free. Why do this? Cashiers start to memorize the cost of items and can easily charge a customer without opening the register. This money usually ends up in their pocket. Having this sign will force cashiers to input and charge all customers into the POS system and will not be able to pocket the sale at the end of the day. You can even input reminders into the system that will let you know when an item is going to expire. If you get a reminder that a chocolate bar is expiring this month, you can move the item near the cash register or put it on special to minimize loss. I am sure all this can be done with an Excel sheet, but you will have to be staring at the computer all day. The point of a business is for it to run on its own. This way you can concentrate your time and energy on how to expand and grow your business. Remember, work on your business, not in it. Another reason why you need to invest in a good POS system is to accept different forms of payment. We are in a different world from where we grew up in. Everything nowadays is about technology. Money is now digital. People now want to pay with their phones and even with their Apple watches. I've witnessed many small restaurants only accepting cash, but after a while, I usually see them going out of business. You need to learn to adapt and go with the flow. Not only can you manage sales and inventory, but you can also manage your staff. All their information can be stored in the system. Date of birth, social security, driver license, contact information, etc. You can input their schedule and hourly wage and have them clock in and out at every shift. At the end of the week, the POS system will tell you how many hours they worked, if they were late, and how much to pay them. As mentioned before, it just makes your life easier. Another great function of a POS system is that it allows you to create special pricing for your inventory. For example, you can price your Gatorades at one for $2, or two for 3.50. Your POS system will automatically deduct the 50 cents the second you scan the second Gatorade. Or if you have a meat market as we do, you can have special discounts for your restaurant clients. I record the restaurant client information into the system and input a certain amount of discount they will get each week on their orders. 
Another use for this function is the employee discount we give to our staff. As you can see from the video, a POS system is a great investment for your business. I will be uploading a hands-on video on how to input inventory into the system, how to update the cost and the price, and we'll be playing with other functions that the IT retail system offers. So stay tuned. So that's the end of the video, millionaires. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. We're almost at 1,500 subscribers, so I am really excited. If you like the video, don't forget to give me a like and share with a relative or friend that has a small business. God bless.